something always goes wrong. <laughs> Got this. Mario? Huh? Arigato. In Japan, the most dangerous thing is You've never truly visited Japan unless you go with a loco. Most people visit Tokyo or Kyoto, but we're gonna explore the southern islands with my local tour guides, Kenji and Hiro Kobayashi. Join us on our epic road trip through Kyushu as we visit dead volcanoes, beautiful grass plains, and a sunset you're not gonna wanna miss. Let's get started. Oh, wait, but first, I'm gonna need a car. And we're renting a car and exploring Kyushu, I believe the third largest island in Japan. Let's go. Unfortunately for these guys, I'm a maximalist, so I have a whole bunch of luggages. So Kenji is driving. Have you driven in Japan before? Yeah. Yeah. Once. That's promising. Let's go. Okay. I guess we're yeah, the go. three Sam right now. Kenji, how is that driving in Japan? Good. Satisfied. Time to eat, right? What are we eating? Eel. 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 Okay, that is the eel that has not been sauced. The eel with the sauce. Mm. 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 It's so good. This is like the wagyu of eels. This is the jet man. <laughs> they only sell eels. This is eel liver. Let me try this. It tastes like a chicken liver. I think all liver kind of is kind of a little bit similar. Yeah. Really nice like texture. It's the best eel I ever eat. I never ate this kind of like a steam. Baked eel. Okay, we finished eating it. Mmm, so good. Would recommend. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> First of all, we're going to Mount what? Oranoike. Okay, we're going to whatever he said. Basically, it's a volcano that's been dead for a while, and there's a lake that formed up of the volcano. Look at the map. This is the map telling us the road. Look how windy that is. All right, guys. Uh, situation update. So, as usual, when we go out. We're always late or out of time. We have a limited amount of time to get up to the mountain because we have to make it to our hotel later on and eat dinner. So right now we're busy running up instead of hiking up normally. This trail is really cool. Let's get to the end first before we show you all this cool stuff. Let's go. Kenji, hurry. We're not gonna make it. Why are you stuck? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> oh, yeah. Okay, he's a musician, so he has a good excuse, but what about you? <sighs> Guys. We got this. Whenever I'm with Kenji and we have like plans together or we have break together, something always goes wrong. Something always goes wrong. Yeah, if not, we're late, we take the wrong road. At the end, everything is good, but like, like that one time, hanging out with him and my car broke down. Uh, this trip is the same thing. We just realized that when you get back to the hotel by dinner or so we're gonna miss dinner and all around the hotel, there's no other places to eat. That's why we have to rush this trip up here. But I heard that this volcanic mountain is very, very cool. It is an uh, inspiration for a lot of uh, artistic works. So let's get up there. Let's get some footage, okay? Let's go. So I have two backpacks because these guys are dying. This, <laughs> <Show> off, <man. laughs> this hill is a lot like life, actually, to be honest. Every single path is a little bit different than before. So you don't know what to expect. It's a little harder or a little easier. And everyone we pass tells us different things. Like some people say it's 10 minutes, some people say it's like 20 minutes. Just, just auntie said, almost there. I think in life, you, you might not see the end, but you just have to keep on going. And no matter what happens, just keep going. You just keep going, yeah. Don't yeah. stop, just keep going. We are finally here. This is the scene we've walked all this way for. That is the volcano. If you've ever seen the movie, your name? Kimi no Nawa. Kimi no Nawa Nawa. <laughs> That's actually the inspiration for it. Was that the volcano or is that that's the volcano? But what is that? I'm not sure about my description. Now. <laughs> if it's wrong, we are sorry. Oh my goodness, this is scary. If you guys are wondering where my parents are, we started like uh, one minute in and they gave up. All right, so I was wrong. My dad actually made it with a surprise. Hey, good job. Surprise MVP. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> was it hard? Hard. Hard. I don't think we're gonna make it for dinner for the hotel, but it's okay. We had a really good time on this mountain. So let's head back and drive three hours to the hotel, which is a hot spring. See you guys there. This hotel is really cool. This is the room. It's basically a traditional Japanese tatami. And there's like a nice patio outside. It's dark right now, so you can't see anything. But let's check out the rest of this hotel. Cute Japanese feel. Half down here. Shower area. Onsen to yourself. Check it out. River going down there. I'm gonna call it a night now, and tomorrow morning, I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna use this facility. And there's also breakfast tomorrow morning, so. Let's see what happens tomorrow morning. All right, good night, guys. It is the next day. All right, I'm gonna shower, and then I wanna do a little bit of a workout. Then we're gonna have breakfast. Water is steamy, I can't wait to get in. Check this out. This is the place I showed you guys last night, but it's too dark. 
That's the path you saw last night. I just took my uh, nice onsen bath. But the thing is, as Shirin dancers in Japan, the most dangerous thing is getting fat. So Kenji and I have decided to put in some training. So we're gonna go run. We're like 10 minutes into our run. There's a big problem. We can't run anymore because the scenery looks too good. So right now, we changed our schedule. We're not running anymore. We're just taking pictures. Even though I don't approve of this position of picture taking. Uh, okay, yeah, he's still running. We just finished running. Like I said, in Japan, you just work out and you eat. So right now we're eating breakfast. It's really cool, but it's really quiet in there, so I can't speak, but I'll show you what the food looks like. All right, ready? So right now we have made it to Daikambu. I think it's called Daikambu. I don't know much about this place. Can you uh, introduce a little bit? <laughs> no, Kenji says he's fat and his face looks like a soccer ball, so he's gonna suck in his cheeks while he talks. Introduce this place to us while you suck in your cheeks. I don't know, it just has good view here. Very good view. Anything else? No. <laughs> <laughs> this was a big volcano that erupted. Then the volcano's magma disappeared after that and formed a land on top of the volcano. And then we are watching this view right now from outside volcano. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Okay. Now that we did a little bit more research, I can explain to you what's going on. So behind us here is actually what used to be a volcano. And then it erupted, the magma drained, and so there's a huge basin or like a hole there. And then that is where the people started living. And then right now we're standing on one of the uh, side tips. We're in Japan, so you think you might see some samurai or something. But uh, we found Mario. Hi. Mario? Mario. Hmm? Arigato. Arigato. I didn't know Mario was Japanese. I thought he was Italian. But now you know. Pro photographer over there taking some pictures. Let's go. Let's check out his photos later. See if it's actually good or he just looks good. You said the volcano is dead. What is that? This is another one. That's it's actually a volcano over there. Volcano. So just now we are on the mountain. Now we are on the grass fields. Let's do some Mongolian dance. We started off in some uh, onsen village, the mountains, plains, volcano. And now we're here next to the ocean. Right now, this part is called Itoshima. And it's like a hidden little gem. There's not that many tourists that know about this. Almost all Japanese people here. I don't know if you can see, but those stones over there, they have some kind of like rope on them. Make it like feel so Japanese. I'm gonna see if I can get some uh, cinematic B-roll for you guys right now, okay? All right. We tried to get some cinematic B-roll, but it didn't work out. The gimbal was out of batteries. You didn't charge the gimbal. It's okay, hey, thanks for driving us here. This is good enough. So that's it for part one of our adventure. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss part two, where I visit an ancient Japanese castle. Stay in a hot spring resort with almost no tourists and go to the city where tonkatsu ramen was invented. All right, Lydia, congratulations. You won the album. We're gonna ship it to you soon, okay? Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Check out this video right here where I visit Tokyo with my parents. Click right now, right now. Support Sam! Support Sam, superstar Sam. We wanna see more of Sam. Let's go! Let's waiting for you to click now. Click Let's it. Go. Click it, click it.